Hey there, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kathy Sanders. I'm a surf fishing guide in Flagler County, serving Flagler, Volusia, and St. John's counties. Go ahead and push a like and a subscribe on the video. We appreciate it a lot. Today we've got an action-packed video for you. This is from November 8th. I was at Varn Park throughout the Go Fish Cam, and we saw so many different species. Here's our first one. We actually have a species counter up there because we have 10 different species in this one video. Some of them you're going to see more than once. First up is this little pompano. He's going to hang around for quite a little bit here. So I cut out all of the footage that didn't have the pompano. But we're just going to watch this little guy as he's swimming around. He keeps coming back, checking out the baits, swimming around. And these guys, I'm finding out, are tenacious. They will keep coming back. At one point here, it looks like there might have been two pompano just a little bit ago. You can rewind and take a look at that. But we were also having trouble keeping the gofish cam looking straight at the bait at the the sinker kept coming loose and when that happens the camera just looks straight up at the sky so when you see the sun coming through there that's actually looking up at the top of the water and this little pompano came across we slowed that down so you could see him there but he's still he gets hooked up here you can see and we slowed it down he is actually hooked on there right here and then he shakes himself vigorously so much that he's able to shake himself loose right there. And then he's pretty much gone. I think he does come back, takes a look again. Three minutes later, here we go. Yep, he's like taking a look. He's, he's still trying, but he gives up a lot quicker. Maybe he remembered being hooked. Comes across the screen. I think that might be the same one. He's just hanging around forever. Next up, and this is a new species to see on the Go Fish Cam, is the moon jellyfish. And we're going to slow that down. You can see it kind of comes across the screen. we got a picture there of a jellyfish, a moon jellyfish. And then he comes across the bottom. Look at the bottom of the screen there. You'll see that jellyfish coming right across the sand. That day there were so many jellyfish in the surf. I knew we were going to see them on the Go Fish Cam. It was impossible not to. Here we go with the next species. We've got a black drum. Check this guy out. He actually gets hooked up here. And black drum, I don't know if you've caught him before, you know they're kind of a lazy fish. So he is hooked on there. You can see he's got little... Uh, barbells on there but he's he's just kind of trying to get off but not really that enthusiastically and what we're going to do here is speed this up because he actually stays on for several minutes we're going to put some music so listen to the music watch this guy as we've speeded him up for about seven minutes he was stuck on the line and then he shakes himself loose And here he comes, shook himself right off of there. What a lazy fish. Now we got species counter number four. We've got a whiting. And we're going to see whiting several times in this video. But this guy comes right in. You can tell that's a Gulf Kingfish by that black tip on his tail. And he kind of scoots across the sand. And you can see him in the background there, kind of near that second hook and then he kind of moves on. But we have whiting that come around a couple different times in this video, so we're only going to count species counter the first time we see them. Here's the next one. Another black drum. Take a look at this. You can pretty much tell that's a little black drum. My guess is it's the same one. He took one look at that bay and was like, nope, I'm not doing that again. All right, next up, 
we've got another whiting here and you can see him as he's coming around comes right across the screen there but like I said there he goes jetting across the screen again another little whiting and here's our next species another southern stingray we've been seeing these a lot in our videos lately very very cool fish and I'll say it again, I've said it before, but they're so majestic looking. I love how they glide right over, and I'm kind of glad we didn't get hooked up on them. That would have been quite a fight, and I may have lost my camera, and I don't want to lose the camera. So take a look at this. Look the, to the right there. What fish do you think that is? My best guess is maybe another black drum, maybe the same one. Looks a little bigger to me. Let me know in the comments what you think that was. And coming up on our next fish that we see is another new species. Here we go, species number six, and we see a sheep's head. This is the first time on the Go Fish Cam seeing a sheep's head. And you can tell, I've showed a picture there so you can compare. So cool to see that sheep's head right there in the surf. Next up, we've got another jellyfish. Take a look at this. Comes kind of up and around and then We'll slow it down for you so you can take a look at it even closer. But we've got that moon jellyfish. And that kind of moves on off of the screen. Next up, we've got another black drum. Take a look at this little guy. He comes up, checks out the bait, and here in a second he's going to check out the camera kind of backed himself away from it, but we're gonna slow that down so you can get a much better look at this little guy because he's kind of cute. And we see him, watch to the right of the screen. He's coming in, coming in, checking out that bait. They always go after that fish bite. They love those fish bites. And then here he comes. You can see all those little barbells on the bottom of his chin, makes him look like he's got a goatee. So cool to see this black drum on here. And then we head to our next species here. Number seven, we see a bluefish. Check this out. Couldn't tell immediately what it, what it was, but then within just a few seconds, we had this bluefish coming right across the screen. So he comes up to the top, comes back around. Keep watching the top of the screen. He's gonna come down and over right there. And then he's gonna come across the screen and we'll see it pretty clearly. I've got that picture there, the bluefish. So you can compare the body type as he's coming back across here. You can definitely tell that that is a bluefish right there. And here we have Mr. Speckled Crab. I know we can't see him too clearly, but to me that looks like a speckled crab just the coloration of it, but he is grabbing the camera, probably putting his claws right on the float. And it's pretty funny to see these crabs come up and just grabbing away at stuff. And now we have our next species, number nine. Check it out. We've got a school of mullet in the background there. They go by pretty quick, so not a huge, huge school. We're gonna see another school of them later but check out this school. There's probably a couple dozen there at least, but we slowed it down so you could see them better. Next up, we've got another whiting coming in and he darts away. So we're gonna slow that down, watch him as he kind of glides right in over the sand. You can tell that's a Gulf Kingfish right there and he jets off, checking something else out. Some days these fish just don't want to bite. And next up, we've got a palometta. I believe we've only seen a palometta once before and not this clearly. So check this out. We're going to slow this down again. You can see clearly from that body shape and comparing that picture there, that is a nice little palometta. And there he goes, gliding off. Here we have this little pompano, and we've already seen pompano here, so I didn't slow it down. He comes into the view several times. I didn't even bother cutting out much because he just kept darting back and forth through there. And I did slow this part down. You can see very clearly he just kind of glides right across the camera. 
and then he moves on. So now we've got some striped mullet coming across the top of the screen there. Look across the top. Couldn't get this whole school in, but we did catch a few of them as they came in view of the camera. So it's always fun to see those mullet. This was back at the beginning of November when they were running pretty strong. Two more fish. We've got another pompano. Could be the same one because this wasn't too long after we saw the other one. And these pompano tend to hang around for quite a while like we've noticed. Again, we have another jellyfish coming through. And I actually missed this first pass. He came through. But thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of you. And if you haven't watched any of our other videos, go ahead and go back and watch some. We're real close to being monetized. We're only about 100 hours away. If you can go back and watch another video, it would help us out a ton. And we would really appreciate it. But we've got our online store, fishandgirlstore.com or fishing-girl.com. We've got float rigs, pompano rigs. We've got t-shirts and tank tops. We're going to start selling hoodies and eventually all kinds of fishing equipment for everything that you might need. But for now, tight lines. God bless and we'll see ya.